A great win in the Premier League on Sunday against Manchester City. Now we turn our attentions to the FA Cup at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. This is the match preview. Spurs v Southampton. Welcome back to another video. So it has been a fantastic couple of days for us Tottenham fans. Of course, we beat the Premier League champions, Manchester City, 2-0 at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Uh, Tottenham are now up to fifth in the Premier League. Um, but on Wednesday night, Tottenham now turn their attentions to the FA Cup. And of course, as I keep saying, Tottenham have not won an FA Cup for 29 years. The last time we won the FA Cup was on the 18th of May 1991 when Gary Mabbott lifted the FA Cup after we beat Nottingham Forest 2-1. It has been far too long. Um, Tottenham now do have another replay um, this time in the fourth round. Of course uh, we had to get past Middlesbrough in the third round. Um, had a replay at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium which we won. Um, so let's hope we do exactly the same again. Um, Norwich City um, will be the team that either team will face in the fifth round. So let's hope that Tottenham can get through um, to face Norwich City in another home tie. Team news for Tottenham ahead of this fourth round replay against Southampton at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Harry Kane is still out. Musa Sissoko is still out. Ben Davis has now returned to training. Too early for him to return um, in this game, but we will see him very, very soon. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below when Ben Davis does return to the first team squad. Um, do you think that Mourinho will put Ben Davis straight in as left back, or do you think that Tanganga will continue because Tanganga has had some fantastic appearances, only a handful of appearances in a Tottenham shirt, but he has been absolutely brilliant. Brilliant um, so far um, in his Tottenham career. Um, Stephen Bergvin is ineligible for the tie. Um and uh, and that's it. So hopefully um, Tottenham will be at full strength on Wednesday night, putting the best possible 11 out and getting that result um, and getting through to the fifth round. And then we will be playing Norwich City. So let's get into a few of the match facts and stats. Now, since losing 1-0 to Crystal Palace in February 2016, Tottenham have won each of their last seven home FA Cup matches, scoring 25 goals across these victories. So we must be very confident going into this game. Another stat that will give all of us Tottenham fans that little bit more confidence going into this game. Of course, we have beaten Southampton at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium um, earlier on in this season um, in the Premier League, beating them 2-1. And Tottenham have won eight out of the last nine home games against Southampton, with Southampton only winning one of them, all of them in the Premier League. Now, I remember this game like it was yesterday. Ronnie Rosenthal with that hat-trick. It was just unbelievable. Um, this is the first time, though, an FA Cup tie between Spurs and Southampton has gone to a replay since that season that I was talking about, 1994-1995, when Tottenham beat Southampton 6-2 at the Dell in the fifth round replay after a 1-1 draw at White Hart Lane. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below. Were you at that game? What do you remember about it? And Ronnie Rosenthal, wow, that was just what a night, a fantastic hat-trick uh, from the Israeli striker. So we've got fantastic stats at home in the FA Cup, fantastic stats recently against Southampton in the Premier League. Uh, but Southampton have been beaten in just one of their last 11 away FA Cup matches, winning seven and drawing three. Um, the, the only defeat um, came at Sunderland in February 2014, where they lost 1-0. 
So as I mentioned earlier on in the video, no Steven Bergvin on Wednesday night, but Hun Min Son seems to be uh, the man who always seems to get us those important goals and get us over that line. Now, Tottenham's Hun Min Son has been directly involved in 18 goals in 20 FA Cup appearances. That is 11 goals and 7 assists, scoring our goal also in the 1-1 draw at St Mary's in the original tie. So let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below, your predicted lineup and your score prediction. My score prediction for this game, I am going to go for a 2-0 Tottenham win with Hunmin Son to get both of the goals. Come on, you Spurs.